Hey, what's happening? I tell you what's happening. Crapping. By hand. Well, kind of. We actually got this special, special ancient uh, traditional tool here. It's a tennis racket, be strong. Uh, on a stick. I actually saw this on, in another YouTube uh, video. Uh, April Voki. She's a resident uh, fishing rock star here in BC. She had a video that uh, showed how, how to make one of these things and how well they work compared to the dip nets. So we're gonna go test it for ourselves and uh, find out. Let's go. Okay, so uh, we've been at it for well now, it's 2.30, about two hours. Got a couple in the basket, my dad's got three, so we're just over halfway there. Normally we'd be in this channel, there's a lot, there's a good, a lot of good backflow coming in here, um, despite that it's tide going out, a lot, all this water pressure is moving right to the left into the bay, but the wind is blowing in the opposite direction today, which it wasn't the last few days. It's really messing up the, the, uh, the visibility. I don't know if you guys can see this now, but that's what I'm trying to look through right now, even with polarized lenses on. Yeah, so definitely when you're doing this, um, a lot of conditions have to be right. You want to be here, you know, two, three hours before low tide. You know, map out your geography as to where the spots are once the water drops, where the crowds be hanging out. Beyond that, wear polarized lenses. Um, you, that's, a, that's like a must. But uh, as far as these uh, tennis rackets, um, that's basically all there is to it. The advantage of the tennis racket over the dip nets is that this is a rounder, rounder tip. And when you're in this eel grass, um, it just cuts through better. You don't get hung up on uh, on the grass as much, and you get to, I think, increase your percentage of uh, scoops, successful scoops. 
I, we modified this to make it a little more of a basket just so that uh, the crabs might have a hard time getting in and out. I don't think it's making a huge difference the way I had it strung the first time. But uh, the big difference is that this whole system is way stiffer uh, than a dip net. So you can really jam against the mud and scoop under. And the other big thing is that the crabs are not getting that tangled in this as opposed to the mesh of a net, which is just speeding things up with clearance and that kind of thing. So. Just touches. So if you're legal, then you're definitely legal. It's over seven. That one's definitely legal. Okay, well, we're legal. Yeah, I'm confident. Overall, it was a great day, and I can't say enough about this method of crabbing. No boats, no traps, no bait. Just a crab gauge, a bucket, and a net. Or a tennis racket is all you need. It's not a bad way to spend the day getting exercise out in the sun and the fresh air. It's easy, relaxing, and even exciting at times. And more importantly, it produces results. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and consider subscribing to the channel for more tips and fishing adventures. Peace.